Um, right, so yeah, today's video is going to be on the multi textures workshop that was hosted by Jidor mm -hmm. on a Saturday that I went to with my little sister. And um, yeah, I just want to talk to you about how well it went and um, yeah, just to discuss the show really. So, I thought it was really great to be able to take my sister along. She actually said she thought it was good. Yeah, it was really good. I was quite nervous that she'd be bored and be like, what are these people talking about? But she really enjoyed it, right? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. I liked Felicia the... Oh, oh, oh goodness. <laughs> I liked Felicia the best because um, it was more interactive than the other ones. I was to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, her, her, the information she gave us was like, it was really good. Like, I can actually use it stuff about shampooing and all of that. Yeah. Um, some of the tips that I took from it, I've also posted this on the blog, so if you want to read that, go ahead, um, were, for example, oh, this fantastic idea of being able to wash your hair in sections. No, sorry, that wasn't the point. It was... Um, condition. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. to be able to try out um, which conditioner works best for you. So basically, you know, you part your hair in four sections. Nerd. <laughs> you part your hair in four sections and um, you put a different conditioner in each of the four sections. My colleague here will demonstrate. Is that two, <laughs> two sections. Okay, anyway, so yeah, and then you know, you, you do your thing, you DC, you do whatever, and then you basically see how your hair responds in each section, and then voila, you yeah. have the conditioner that works best for you, hopefully. Um, another one was to avoid phylates in products because they are not good. They affect the hormones in the female. So yeah, you need to avoid that in your products, ladies and gents. You don't want to be growing boobies. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was really great. Um, those are the main things that I took from it, you know, things that I didn't really know. And um, besides that, I think it was just fantastic to be able to have this event in the UK, to be able to get Felicia to come down again. I know she was here for Palumi's... Um, workshop was it last year or maybe the year before I think it was last year and it was really nice that she came down again and um, Jador put so much hard work into the event and you know what it was really 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 worthwhile going to I got a lot out of it it was lovely to be able to meet people that were just as passionate about hair care and hair care practices stop copying me <laughs> hair care practices and to be actually be able to meet all of the people I stalk the blogs I stalk she made you stalk um, or whatever and pro <laughs> and so yeah that was really really cool um and at the same time there was food at this event uh, yeah all i need to say is they catered to the needs of the people that came um no but on a serious note it was really well organized um there was a really great q a session that was led by felicia and that really did address a lot of the concerns or issues or things in the unknown that people wanted to discuss so I thought that was really 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 good and beneficial and and there were some demo demos done by Jane Carter and Kara Care and that was really cool because you know you get all these products and so many of them have like similar functions you're like nourish and shine curl defining which one do I use to get calls so um, <laughs> it was really good to be able to kind of have a breakdown of how to use the products and be able to see um, Kerika and Jane Carter used them on an actual model, which was really cool. Um, I use the word cool a lot, but yeah, it was great. And um, oh yeah, the best part, not the best part, but the, the great part, you know, the bit at the end where you get your goodie bag was really, really great because some of the products in here I've been thinking about buying but haven't been so sure and um, some of them were in the bag so that was really cool so I will just show you some of those goodies okay so Jane Carter plus um, my June brush we did not get my bristle <laughs> brush I just took that with me so scrap that um, yeah okay so they gave us some really decent sized samples from Jane Carter um, these will go a long way so I'm so happy that I got these without like splashing on them um, if they work wonders, then of course I'm going to buy them. So there was the curl defining cream. And there was also ooh, um, the revitalizing leave-in conditioner. Spritz, spritz. <laughs> and finally, we were given nourish and shine for dry hair and dry skin. Which, Mashapa, you used this in your hair, didn't you? Yeah, I used it today. I washed it. So. She used a little bit too much. This girl is oiling down the side <laughs> of her forehead. So, okay, what else? Um, 
blue stuff, I'm not too sure about that. This, mm, there's like a piece of paper in there for it. This was from a company called Isabis or something it's, like that. Yeah. Um, okay. It's supposed to be a, a natural product range, I think. Let me not quote without knowing. Okay, they don't actually, they don't say, but yeah, this was given to us and um, one thing is, I like to know what our, I like to see be able to see the ingredients list, and this doesn't have any. So I will check on the product website, um, but if they don't have it there, then oh, I'm not quite sure I'm gonna try that out. It reminds me of like Dax or something. I really hope I don't offend anyone by saying that, but yeah, that should be interesting to find out more about. If you guys know, then holler at your girl because I would love to know. Um, loads of random leaflets in here. Okay. Yeah, just some info stuff. So, lady of the day, leathering your hair with natural care for Alicia Leatherwood. Her really nice card, very chic. I like. Um, discount from Adornment365, a UK hair salon. Big up to the UK. <laughs> um, Care Care, a really nice portfolio. I think it's mainly for their new range, the natural textures, if I'm right. Yeah. yeah. And on this range, like, we got loads of samples for them, but I love the the science behind this range, or just the range, not range, sorry. And um, the fact that there's a number system, and, you know, they've kind of... You know when you get books that are, like, computing for dummies? It's like they broke that down on the packaging, so you get numbers for... Number one is for shampoo, two is for conditioning, three is for styling, and they're all labelled on the products. And you get a W or a D, so you know whether you can use it on wet or dry hair. So I really, really thought that that was really great and I'm really excited about using the samples. So on to their samples. And then okay, not theirs, but... Okay. Uh, there are these two. So some samples from Free Your Main. We've got a sulfate-free hydrating shampoo and a Free Your Main daily detangling conditioner. I need some of that. Yes. Um, now all the Cura Care products. Thank you. Yeah, they gave us loads. They made it rain down on us. Um, so yeah, if you can see, that's the number system I was talking about. I don't know if you can see that, sorry. Um, but it says number two. It also has a pH on it. Um, mm. This is the leave-in conditioner. We got the hair milk. We got the defining custard. Twist and define cream. So um, thanks, Care Care, for that. Yeah. And anything else? Yes. Oops, I missed out a Care Care product. Okay, so is that? Oh, it's twist, twist and define. Fine. Um, there is soft and free. So this is a co-wash without petrolatum, petrolatum, mineral oil, sulfates, parabens, colorants, and phthalates. I, I should be able to say that. Yeah, that stuff. Maybe that's the stuff Felicia was talking about. Mm. But yeah, there's that co-wash, which hopefully will be enough for one of mine that I'm going to be doing very soon. And last but not least. PK, I love Philip Kingsley. Um, on my blog, the product staples list, um, this is one of the two products that I will use for my pre poo. So it's either this or my homemade like ginger nut pre poo brulee, blah blah blah, whatever. And um, yeah, this stuff is really great. So there's nothing like having a lot of Philip Kingsley. <laughs> Crazy eye. <laughs> yes. But yeah, um that was yeah. it. But um it was a really great event and we have to go back. back. Yeah. Hopefully they'll have another one. Who's taking you with me? You. Whatever. Okay, well it was nice seeing you guys again. See you. Bye.